What's up YouTube, my name is John Jagsney and welcome to the next part of my series, What the Fuck is After Effects? Today, we're learning about the project window. So without further ado, let's dive right into what the heck is this thing on the side of me. So. Okay, so in the default view of After Effects, we have the project window right here. Now, this is basically where all of your assets and tools and elements and photos and footage and music and sound effects and all that fun stuff will live in your projects in After Effects. So the first thing I highly recommend you do is have a good folder structure and organization system and workflow system so you can be organized. So I'm going to walk you through how I set up my folder structure in After Effects. To start, I will have an output folder. What is that? Output? That's basically anything that would be output to Facebook or YouTube or Instagram or to my client work or anything like that. Anything that is a final product. So I typically just leave it like that. After that, I'll have a composition folder. So let's click on the new folder button. We'll call this compositions. And within that, I'll have a bunch of different subfolders. So we'll call this pre-comps. So any composition within a composition that's necessary for a composition to work from a technical standpoint or an artistic standpoint. Next, I'll have working comps. So that's like, let's say I have a sequence of clips, so to speak, a working comp is like, okay, clip one, clip two. And then within that, there's a bunch of effects or whatever else. Then I'll have matte comps. And that's basically anything that will like help me reveal these like transitions or any sort of presets, so, so to speak. Then I might have pre-renders. So that's like a composition that I was working on and then I re-rendered it in post so then I could uh, work faster. It's basically a, a way of working faster. So that's basically where my composition folder will be. We can hide the rest of that. After that, we'll have an elements folder. And elements is where a lot of my assets will go. So we'll just call this elements. And within elements, we'll type 3D because I'll put my 3D stuff like OBJs or Cinema 4D files. Then I'll have images. And then within images, I'll have a bunch of subfolders. Basically, JPEGs. then PSDs, then I'll have vector files. So I'll have a bunch of different types of images and that's typically if I'm working with still imagery, that stuff will live in here. We can hide that, we can hide elements, and then next we'll have footage. What's in footage? Well, there's all different kinds of footage. We have MP4. We have MOV. We have AVI. We have uh, stock footage. We have PNG sequences. We have JPEG. And if you can think of any other footage, that's typically where I'll start for my base folder structure for footage. Next, we'll have music. So really just music, then sound effects, SFX, and then audio. And that's like interviews or audio that I need to sync and post or anything like that. So that's my basic folder structure that I use in After Effects, and this pretty much gets the job done. Next, what I'll do is I'll make a new composition. So to do that, you can go to composition, new composition, or you could hit control N, or you can hit this little button down here. And I'll select my project window and the folder within that, and that's going to save the composition wherever I want it. So let's say I want to make a 4K composition. There's presets for that. You could dive into that, but typically I'll just use the Ultra HD 4K 23.976 frames per second. So 3840 by 2160 square pixels. And then I'll typically start with a 30 second composition, but I can make it 
15 seconds by typing 1500 or 60 seconds by typing 6000, something like that. Let's just go back to 15 seconds. And then the resolution, that's just the preview resolution. You don't really need to worry about the advanced stuff. You typically won't use this unless you're doing a very specific thing, which deserves another video. And then the 3D renderer, don't worry about Cinema 4D right now. Most of the time you will use classic 3D in After Effects. Composition name, we'll call this output main. And output for me is just generally a placeholder name. I'll typically name it like the client or the project name or something like that. And then yeah, all that looks good. Click OK. Now we have a new composition and all that fun stuff. Next, for a project window, if you were to ever make a solid, like a solid layer, what that would involve is hitting Control Y on the keyboard with the timeline selected. And then we'll just make a solid and then it'll make a new solids folder in there. Pretty sweet. We just hide that solid for now. Next, let's talk about importing footage. Importing footage is it's pretty straightforward. You hit Control I and then you can import lots of things, but I'll show you how to walk through that. So let's import some footage, file, import, Control I if you want to. And uh, if we go to my Dropbox folder, photos, let's, let's say, I don't know, Halo stuff that I've done. Sure, let's go into low res because I want to import a bunch. Let's import one, two, three photos. And just hold control and select the photos that I want and then import OK. Because I didn't have any folders selected, then it sort of just dropped it at the top level of my project window. So now what I have to do is drag this into my JPEGs folder right there. Easy enough. And then from here, if I need to drag this into my composition, I can easily just drag it in. Hey, there's there's the image inside my project, inside my composition now. Next, let's say I wanted to import some footage. What I could do is I could go to, let's say I want to import an AVI. I'll hit Control I on the keyboard and I want to take a background template that I use for my YouTube content. So go to Creative Cloud Files. This is just how I organize my folder structure and then my templates and then pull that in and there's the AVI, drag that in. And now we have this cool scrolling background. So importing footage is pretty straightforward. There's a couple other things I wanna show you with the project window that are worth knowing. Next is this button, interpret footage. It basically opens up the properties of the footage and how After Effects is going to read that file. So if there's an alpha, what do we do with it? Um, the color management, or I never ever change this. Uh, sometimes it'll change based on how things are exported. Uh, typically you won't work with this. Uh, the time code, are we using what's in the source file or are we gonna try and use a different file format? Next we have the uh, frame rate and the frame rate is either what the footage originally is, 23.976, or do we want to set it to like 12? Or if you have some slow motion footage that's say 120p, you can slow it down to 24 frames per second here, and it'll import into your composition as a slow motion clip. So getting ahead of myself, you can change the properties of footage with the interpret footage button down there. We have the new folder button, which you saw. We have the create new composition button, which we've done by hitting control N. Very simple. Next, we have our project settings. Project settings is basically how After Effects is going to work with this project as a whole. So for the video rendering and effects, depending on the power of your computer, you might have GPU acceleration or CUDA or software only. Software only will use the CPU exclusively and then GPU acceleration will add the graphics card that you have to the processing power of After Effects. So I typically work with CUDA most of the time. If you have a NVIDIA card, if you have 
a, a different card, sometimes you will get a different result. But CUDA works for me. Uh, then time display, I typically don't play with this all that much. You could deal with it if you want to. Color, very important. Highly recommend working in 32 bits per channel. That, that will give you the most color information to work with in your After Effects compositions. But if you need to, you can work with 16-bit or 8-bit. Things might just be a little bit artifacty. I always work in Apple RGB. Audio, 4800 or 48,000 kilohertz is pretty standard. And then expressions, please always use JavaScript. It's a new tool with After Effects that's adding expressions to layers and makes life way easier. So if you're using the older legacy JavaScript, any new templates or anything, it will just not work. So use regular JavaScript. The last thing I want to show you is how to save a project template. So to do that, you go to edit and then preferences, new project, and then wait a second for the preferences to load. And then you'll see this new button here called choose project template. And then whenever you open up a new project, it'll open up this folder structure for your new project. So you can go in here and navigate to wherever you have a project template. So I made a video on how to do this in another video. At some point, you can go check that out, link up here. But uh, yeah, you can save any folder structure you like and then just open up that file. And then whenever you make a new project, it will basically create a new folder structure with that. It won't import footage or anything like that, but this kind of gets you started. Uh, and then if you ever need to change the name of your solids folder, whenever you make a new solid layer, you have the ability to change the name of that as well. But that's it. That's the project window. It's pretty straightforward, just importing footage and organizing things. But I can't tell you how important good file organization is in After Effects. So that's it. I hope you learned something. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. If you didn't, also let me know. I'd be more than happy to work with you and see if there's a way in which I can help you. Help you, because I want. If if my stuff isn't helping you, then I, I'm doing a bad job. So yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I will leave you with this: one gram of protein per pound of body weight for some gains. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go get some training in. Have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in that next video punch the crap of that like button. It would be appreciated and it helps me know that the channel is uh, providing good content. Okay, I've talked in this outro enough. Go bye my friends. Bye, bye, I appreciate you, bye. Oh wait. Bye. Bye.